lives and lifestyles are enriched when the environment is clean and safe. For the past 20 years, the Drainage Services Department has committed itself to providing a high standard of drainage services to the public, providing a safer and more comfortable living environment for the people of Hong Kong. Water is an essential element to life, but when nature rages, it can also bring damage and disaster. Hong Kong is frequently visited by tropical cyclones. The average annual rainfall is over 2,300 millimeters, one of the highest among Pacific Rim cities. During severe rainstorms, there is always the risk of flooding in low-lying and older urban areas. Moreover, urbanization also turns once natural grounds such as soil into paved areas and, as a result, increases the surface runoff. The DSD was established in September 1989 with the prime objective of protecting the people of Hong Kong from flooding. Over the years, the department has completed many infrastructural flood prevention projects. With its practice of do it from the heart, the DSD has successfully reduced flooding risks in a cost-effective and environmentally friendly way, thus helping to build a safer and more pleasant living environment. In nature, streams and rivers follow the natural topography of the landscape on their journey towards the sea. And like nature itself, the DSD's drainage works are also planned and built in harmony with the environment. During severe rainstorms, low-lying areas to the north of Hong Kong Island, floodplains in the New Territories and some of the older urban areas are particularly prone to flooding. Since its establishment, the DSD has undertaken extensive flood prevention studies, including a series of eight stormwater drainage master plan studies covering different areas of the territory. As a result, strategies for flood prevention improvement works were formulated for the flood-prone areas of the North and Northwest New Territories and the older urban areas such as Mong Kok and Sheng Wan. In the past, the New Territories was particularly susceptible to flooding. Since 1997, the Hong Kong government has invested over $10 billion on flood prevention projects. To help drain away flood water on flood plains, the DSD has implemented extensive river training schemes. Completed projects include the training of the Ung Tung River, the Kam Tin River, the Sheng Yu River, and the Shenzhen River. The Shenzhen River project is particularly noteworthy as it was implemented in cooperation with the Shenzhen Municipal Government. Village flood protection schemes are necessary for villages which are low-lying when compared with their surrounding areas and where rainwater cannot be effectively drained by gravity to the local drainage system. Such schemes involve the construction of embankments around the susceptible villages to stop the inflow of rainwater and the installation of pumping stations to remove rainwater collected inside the villages during rainstorms. To date, 27 village flood protection schemes have been implemented, providing protection for 35 low-lying villages against flooding. In urban areas, the fast pace of development has aggravated the flooding problem. To address this problem, the Hong Kong government has invested more than $8 billion on flood prevention work. The traditional way to raise the capacity of a drainage system is to construct new drains or replace the existing drains. However, this type of work invariably causes disruption to traffic and pedestrians within bustling urban areas. Operational constraints in implementing drainage improvement works in the urban areas include working around busy traffic on the road surface and dealing with congested underground space due to the presence of electricity and telecom cables and gas and water pipes. To overcome these constraints, the DSD has adopted the use of no-dig technologies and non-traditional schemes in implementing drainage improvement works with the overall effect of reducing disruption to a minimum. These include the construction of underground flood storage tanks and also drainage tunnels. A flood storage tank is a method designed to reduce the peak stormwater flow in the downstream network. During severe rainstorms, excess rainwater, which may threaten the downstream area, is temporarily held inside the storage tanks. When rainfall intensity subsides, the stored water is channeled back downstream by pumps. 
The Taihang Tung underground flood storage tank was constructed specifically to alleviate flooding risk in the Mong Kok area. It has a capacity of 100,000 cubic meters, which is roughly equal to 40 standard swimming pools. Drainage tunnels are designed to intercept rainwater from upland catchment areas, diverting it to a safe place for discharge so as to reduce the flow and therefore flooding risk in the downstream network. The DSD is now constructing drainage intercepting tunnels in Chunwan, Lai Kok and Hong Kong Island West at a total cost of about $6 billion. The Hong Kong West Stormwater Drainage Tunnel is the largest of the three. It commenced in 2007 and is due for commissioning in 2012. When the tunnel is complete, it will play a major role in alleviating flooding risks in Hong Kong Island. To ease the risk of flooding in Wing Lock Street, the DSD has adopted both of the above techniques, namely constructing a stormwater intercepting drain and building a flood storage tank. Working in tandem, these improvement works will ensure that the low-lying areas in Shenwan will now be able to withstand the ravages of a severe rainstorm which has a probability of occurrence not more than once in 50 years. Besides drainage improvement projects, Hong Kong also requires a comprehensive preventive maintenance program and an emergency action plan. The DSD regularly inspects the drainage systems, in particular before the rainy season and after rainstorms to ensure that all systems are functioning properly. In addition, closed circuit television survey is deployed to inspect drain pipes. This allows cracks in pipe walls to be located and prompt repairs to be carried out. For contingencies, the DSD has emergency and storm damage teams to handle emergency and flooding problems outside normal office hours. The DSD's overriding philosophy is always do it from the heart in delivering its drainage services to the public. Nature is alive when trees and other plant life are abundant and thriving, and this only occurs where the harmony between the modern world and nature has created a balanced ecosystem. The public rightly expects that the environmental protection and ecological preservation are integral with all drainage improvement works. Respecting these wishes, the DSD insists on incorporating environmentally friendly features into its drainage improvement and flood control projects. All this results in the provision of well-conceived schemes that work in harmony with the local ecology and environment. A good example of harmony in action is the DSD's commitment to replacing older concrete drainage channel designs with a new design that incorporates ecological preservation concepts, thus blending engineering with the natural habitat. Plants such as mangroves and other local species are cultivated by the department to add variety to many coastal, rural and urban settings. Living on the same planet, mankind lives side by side with many other creatures and plants, it's a delicate balance that needs our help to maintain. The DSD recognizes its responsibility to honor the principles of sustainable development. Looking into the future, whilst the DSD will carry on building flood prevention schemes to alleviate issues associated with flooding, it will also continue to enhance its stormwater drainage services through research and development. Through its community education and publicity programs, the DSD will continue to advise the public at large on practical actions they can take towards reducing the risk of flooding. Individuals alone cannot build a stable, safe and environmentally friendly future for Hong Kong. We all have to work together if we are to attain harmony with nature. A small step taken by many individuals could effectively result in achieving major breakthroughs in sustainable flood prevention management. The Drainage Services Department will continue to adopt the practice of do it from the heart in providing the population of Hong Kong with a high quality, environmentally friendly and sustainable flood prevention service.